Hello and welcome to the Farmer's Kitchen. This is the Farmer's Kitchen. Yes, it is. You know what? I'm going to tell you a little secret. You see that window back there? When you see light coming through it, that means it's daytime. That's right. Most of the shows we do are at night. Most of the shows we do in the evening, and it's dinner, supper, whatever you like to right. call it. Today, we're doing breakfast. We are. You know why we're doing breakfast, Miss Farmer? Why are we doing breakfast? Because we want breakfast. Okay. <laughs> and we can do whatever we want. That's right. It's our right. kitchen. The other day, I was making pad thai. Mm-hmm. And I wanted some egg in it, but I wanted to cook the egg so I could cut it in thin strips. Right. During this process, now I've always had trouble with omelets, making omelets, with one arm especially, getting mm -hmm. everything flipped just right. It's always hard, anybody. It's a mess. Yeah. But I figured out how to make, in my estimation, the perfect omelet. You did. You do. I'm proud of you. I we had it, great. We had, it, right. we had it a little while ago again. <laughs> but today I'm going to spruce it up. Now what you put in your omelet is exactly what you want. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you the basic mechanics of getting that egg that perfect to the right temperature, to the right situation mm -hmm. where you can beautifully flip it over <laughs> and you don't have to say, oh no, I tore my omelet. Yeah. I hope I don't mess it up because so far... You've done good. Everyone I've done has been perfect. They have. But if we're having an omelet, shouldn't we have... Mrs. Farmer, some sweets? I think we need something sweet. She's the carb queen. I am. I like my carbs. I'm trying to go low carbs, but I will eat one of your... It's a blueberry muffin with lemon in it. Gotta I, have something sweet. How could I resist? You, you can't you resist. You got some butter melting out here somewhere? I do. I have some butter right here. But that's actually for in it. Oh, you mean for after to I put on it. On gotcha. It to gotcha. slather. That's right. All right. You get started. Let me see what you're going to do. This is simple. What I have is I have a cup and a half of flour right here. All right. Two teaspoons of baking powder, a half teaspoon of soda, and then a little bit of salt. All right. That's my dry mixture. That, that sounds like. easy enough. It's pretty simple. Now, a lot of half cup stuff here makes it simple. Half cup of sugar. All right. This is a half cup of sour cream. Oh, my. You like sour cream, right? I love sour cream. And I have a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. I love that. One egg. One egg. And I've melted butter. I have a quarter of a, a half a stick of butter, which is a quarter cup. Mm -hmm. You've got to have butter. Yeah, you do. Make sure I get all that butter. So simple. So many things are so simple. You know, you can buy mixes, and there's some great mixes out there. But Thank you, if it just so happens they don't have any mixes, I bet you got some flour. I bet you got some sugar. I bet you got oh, some sour cream. That's right. Now, I like a little bit of lemon with my blueberry. What do you think? Oh, yeah, zest it up. So I'm going to zest it, and plus I'm going to squeeze a little juice in. But I'm going to zest as much as you want. I'm going to do most of this lemon. Now, I'm not one for getting on my soapbox, but if I'm going to do lemons like this, I buy organic. Because yeah. so many of them are sprayed. I don't care how much you wash them. If you're going to use the zest, that's just me. I get right. organic. I agree. All right. I don't want to waste this. I'm going to use half of it. And I love my lemon. Squeezer? Yes. So it makes it so much easier. I'm just going to put a little, little bit of squirt in there. Keep the thing. seeds out of your way. That's right. And you can get a mixer out, but I think mixing with the spoon is good enough for a whisk. And I'm just going to add the flour mixture back. You know, people online, we talk to a lot of folks and they talk about cooking and they're just starting out. There's a whole lot of folks who are just starting out cooking. And really, if you can follow directions and you can read, you can cook. It's not that difficult. Now, when it comes to baking, it's a little more precise, yeah. isn't it? Got it. Measurements. Measurements. Yes. Watch your measurements. But man, oh man, there's nothing better than homemade. Oh, Mrs. Farmer, that smell. I still got the blueberries, but I'm going to wait those till last because if I put them in now, it might smash them up and make everything turn purple. So we're just going to kind of... want that. No, we're going to fold them in towards the end here. We got our oven preheated at 350 degrees. Half a cup of blueberries. Gotcha. Those are big old blueberries. Yes, they are. Now, if you get a big old blueberry in your little bitty muffin, that'll be some good taste. It'll be delicious. And that's it. I'm going to fill those muffin tins. It's amazing how good that smells just right there. I know. I could get the blueberry and the lemon already. Simple. It is very simple. simple recipe. It is very simple. And very tasty, I must add. All right, I'm going to fill these about three quarters full. smell that. Oh, my. Nice. Smell delish. So three quarters way full. Yeah. None to it. Nothing to it. A little spoonful of each. These are one of the best smelling little recipes. I mean, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot there, but when these are cooking, the kitchen just explodes mm -hmm. with you, good smells. I always gotta have something sweet. With breakfast, you gotta have a little muffin. That's right. We don't do breakfast that often, but when we do, we kind of go crazy with it. But you can put chocolate chips in there too, Nikki. Oh, you want to? I mean, you're gonna be, we're gonna be bad. I was trying to be a little good, but all right. <laughs> what do you want to add? What would happen if you just put a chocolate chip or two in there? I wouldn't have heard it. They would, it would melt. You want some? So you want that with your blueberry and your lemon? 
think about it. Okay. You don't have to. We could. Hey, just pop a few in on one of my sauce. That's a good idea. It like. All right. I like experimenting with stuff. I think we got chocolate chips. Do you think we got chocolate chips? Let me grab some. Oh, even white chocolate chips. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I have um, butterscotch. butterscotch. Let's try I'm a little. What about butterscotch? So just the white and the chocolate. Yeah, okay, yeah. Let me Just grab. a few. Just stick them. them down in there and see what happens. Look what I found. So you're going to be decadent. All right, so what do you think? Go all the way, yeah. I th you said just white chocolate, right? I think so. Just poke them down in there. What do you think, about three in each one? Yeah, let them melt down yeah, in see there. See what happens. And you don't have to do it on all of them. It can be kind of an experiment. But you think about blueberry, lemon, white chocolate. Why not? I mean, this went from a breakfast muffin to a Dessert super muffin? duper, super duper. Now, what if it's really good? Are you sure I shouldn't just do them all? Go ahead. Leave, leave one or two without it. All right. I'll Let's do. see what happens. I'll do like nine of them. I'll leave three just in case. So <laughs> bad happens. Perfect. Ready? Tree fitty. Tree fitty. Right. I remember when I was on the road doing the hunting and fishing show, mm -hmm. I would come in at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock at night. Right. And if you ever got up ahead of me in the morning, there's something I always smelled every day. I'm addicted. In the kitchen, I smell potatoes and onions. Love it. I'm addicted to that. I love my favorite thing. Every day. I can eat hash browns every day. So we're going to try to take it up a notch since this is a breakfast show. It's going to be very simple. You like red skins. I do. You like the skins? I like them, everything. So do I. Now, I don't eat a whole lot of hash browns with breakfast, but these are so good, I might just have to have a couple. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about hash browns. There's a million different ways you can do them. We've done them a trillion different ways. Now, they're kind of hard to turn over. Yeah, they're painful. So a lot of people today are using waffle makers. We decided to try it on a panini mm -hmm. machine. Why not? It cooks yeah. both sides, cooks mm -hmm. both sides thoroughly, then you shovel them up and take them out. Set them aside, don't worry about them, I like it. Set them aside. Mm -hmm. So Ms. Farmer, let's get these- uh, Potatoes going? Potatoes going. Alrighty. Watch your fingies. I know this makes you nervous. Don't watch. I got five fingers left. It still work, and that just makes me so nervous. Perfect. Now, how long did you say on the muffins? I, we're gonna 12, 15 minutes. We'll check them. We'll kind of watch and see how they. We'll see when they look. They're already good. starting to smell good. And with the extra chocolate in them, we don't know. We're gonna have to watch them. That's right. All right. Here you go. Here you, you got potato. Go. Here you are. Now, what are you gonna do to help your hash browns stay together? What do you think? I Maybe. think a little egg, mm -hmm. and a little flour. Exactly. It's just a tricky little thing there to keep everything together. All right, let me give you now, this. Now, you like lots of salt and pepper and onions. Now, that's just us. There are no rights or wrongs in the kitchen. If somebody's yelling at you for something you've cooked and you like it, they're wrong, not you. If it's good for you, then that's your thing. Like to, it's better to shred them, I think. Don't you to get them oh, really yeah. tiny in there? They oh, kind of mix in with Plus, the, you got that juice, which helps your flavor. About yeah. a tablespoon there? Yep. I'm gonna take a little bit of seasoned flour, just got a little salt and pepper in there. And I'm very excited because I love potatoes. I know. I'm telling you, <laughs> every time that you've got it before me, that's what I smelled. You know, when I was in high school every day, I had potatoes in my lap driving. That's probably bad. I make myself potatoes. Salt and pepper. Yum. To your liking. To get uniformity, say one for you and one for me. Perfect. I'm gonna try to make them about the same size. I'm gonna take my little scooper here. I got a little oil in that. Pop that out, and then I'm just gonna. That's oh, cute. I like it. Try to make that nice and purdy as I can. Had a guy the other day. He says, "You touched your green beans before you cooked them for an hour at 200 degrees," and I was like, "Really?" And I just touched those potatoes. Mrs. You did. Farmer. I'm okay with Does it. Does it bother you that no, I'm cooking I love for it. you? I love it. You know, one time I shouldn't tell this. But for folks who are really particular about me touching stuff that I'm cooking for you, one time I kissed her right on the cheek. I just missed her lips by that far. And you know what? Neither one of us died. We're okay. That's perfect. We're better now. All right. Now what I'm going to do is close this down. Put a little now I got there. these on high. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close the top. I put a little bit of oil on the top. Now, as we go along here, I'll probably take a little butter because I know you like the butter. Oh, I love my butter. Can I look at it? I'm excited. You want to look at it? That's what's it nice about this. Started. You can open it. It's beautiful. I'm now, ex very excited. So think about this. There's, This is all potatoes and egg and flour. So you're going to have to let it cook a little bit. Mm -hmm. Get it nice and brown. You want it crispy. Right. Don't you want your hash browns crispy? I do. I do. So that's what we're going to do. And we can press them. As far as the settings on here, I got it past 
the medium mark. So I'm going towards high. But I'm going to keep an eye on it. Okay. Speaking of eye. How my muffins? we got maybe four minutes. Boy, they're right. rising. Oh, they nice. look yummy. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to do an omelet here in a minute. I'm just telling you. You can put anything in an omelet you want. If you want to put white chocolate on your omelet. <laughs> I don't think so. I wouldn't recommend it. I don't but think look, so. what, what do we have around here? I see peppers. Mm -hmm. I see garlic. Mm -hmm. Pull it all out. I see onions. I'm going to try something tonight that's almost like cheating. You shouldn't be able to have this for breakfast, but I'm going to do it. Okay. Because Because <laughs> you can't. It's our kitchen. That's right. It's the farmer's kitchen. And we're the farmers. That's right. See ya. This is going. All right. So we're going to let that go. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. Those are so good. That's make me excited. Hey, Ms. Farmer, you want to see what we got over here? I'm, oh my word. I we am turned so them sideways excited. so we could get the little hash marks on. I could eat 20 of those. Uh -huh. Those are nice. That's just beautiful. Those are cute as can be. And look, Mrs. Farmer, that's just enough for each one of us. All right. So you want to just, just make sure you oh, seal yeah, yeah, this yeah, off. Yeah. A little bit of pupa. Can you throw those in the oven and keep them warm? Yes, please. I will do it. And the muffins are about They're getting done. close. They've been in about 15 minutes. Let's give them, let's give them maybe another couple minutes. Or what do you think? Uh, they're looking close. You call it. You're the baker. You know, they look pretty done. I'm the candlestick maker. I think they're good. So what was that, 15 minutes? That was, that was right at 15 okay. minutes. Okay, so 15 minutes, I think we're gonna pull those. It beeped just for you. And that looked delicious. Oh, would you look at that. All right, we're gonna let that set. Is now, that? what are you gonna put on your omelet? Everything, you yeah. You may ask, hmm, what would I put in there? Well, I'll tell you what, I would put the red and green peppers. You want it to be pretty. Oh, yeah. But if we took about that much, and then I just cut them up like that. And saute that up. Just saute that up, along with some green ones for color and taste. Did you know green, red, and yellow bell peppers are the same critter at different stages in their development? Right. Really? Interesting. That is true. That's interesting. And Nikki, while I'm doing this, if you want to cut me just a little bit of onion. Now, let's see. Let's just go ahead and put a little olive oil in here. Now, what you want to put on your omelet is totally up to you. There's no rules. What you like is what you like, and don't let anybody convince you of anything different. We've got the burner on, we've got it going here. I'm going to use a little bit of sweet Italian sausage and some pepperonis. And you think, where's Mr. Farmer going here? A pizza omelet. Mmm, <laughs> Italian omelet. So I'm just gonna cook my meats here just a little bit. Let me do that for you. I'll be your. You mind? Uh, no. Just I'll... get that up in you know little pieces like that. I'll do it. And turn it down so we don't need real high heat here. But I'm gonna do me a four egg omelet because you're gonna help me eat it, right? Uh huh. You like your pepperoni, don't you? Oh, I like pepperoni. Now again, what you put into your omelet is one thing. The things I'm concentrating on today are the mechanics of making the perfect omelet to get it to the right color and texture, and more importantly than anything, being able to flip that over. You're good at that. You do it so good. Knock on wood. Man, I've been doing these a lot, and I haven't messed one up yet, so today will probably be the day. So we're gonna get our meat cooked here until we get just a little bit of fat rendered out of there and some taste. Then we'll saute our vegetables in those juices, along with a little bit of olive oil we've already got in here. All right, it doesn't hurt if a little bit of sausage is in there, so we're gonna come back with our yeah. peppers, onions. You know what? We got some mushrooms. Ooh. Oh. That smells good. Just that smell smells good? good, yeah. You know, just those smells together. Oh, this is gonna be good, Mrs. Harvey. I'm excited. Beautiful. I don't want to cook those too much. We turn those off. I'm going to slide that up into the next space. Alrighty. Notice that pan's not real hot or I wouldn't be grabbing it like that. Now, here's my secret to the perfect omelet. <laughs> now, I'm not heating the pan up yet because I want to show you something. What am I going to do? Just olive oil. I'm going to put olive oil in here just enough to cover the bottom. So, I'm going to take I don't want to put too much. I just want to make sure every surface area is covered in here. Now, if you think, well, that might be a little bit much, but what happens if we're not going on a real high heat here? What happens if, oh no, 
we get some of that olive oil in the egg and we have to eat it. It's good for us. Guess what? That's if you right. don't get it real hot, which we're not on this on the way that we're doing this, this adds to the recipe. It's not just an oil to cook in. And I want every, every spot covered. Now somebody might have been doing this for the last 150 years and that's absolutely wonderful. But I just figured this out the other day and it makes me happy. Yes, it does. So what I'm gonna do is watch how much I'm gonna turn this heat up. Not super hot, do you see that? So you keep it on low. A little above half, I'm gonna let that get warmed up a little bit. Take my eggs. Look at you. Look at me what? One-handed egg guy. Like I have a choice. You do, you do really good. <laughs> I'm I very got impressed. four eggs, now this is a four egg omelet. Four eggs, folks. I like to use a fork. Now what do you put in your eggs? Some people put heavy cream, some people put half and half, some people put milk. You know what I do for the perfect omelet? Nothing. Nada. <laughs> and I like to use a fork. I like to get just like I wanna. So, you let that set a minute till we get our oil just right. And when you see a little shimmer across the top, you know we're getting close. And again, you notice I'm not getting this real hot. Now something I found for this particular recipe, I really like, and this is called a fish spatula. This is really handy for turning things Those over are nice. like eggs. They are nice. So we're gonna really get into this guy and make sure that we can turn him over. Oh, I see a little ripple across the top. Now, when I put these eggs in here, you're gonna notice that the oil comes lightly up over the edge of the eggs. And you think, oh no, it's ruined. Guess what? That egg, when it cooks, it goes into the egg. It's delish. There's nothing wrong with that. So a little salt, a little pepper. Ready? I'm ready. Are you scared? I'm very scared. <laughs> You don't hear a whole lot of sizzle there. Mm -mm. Why do you not hear a lot of sizzle? Because I want that to spread out. And it covers the whole pan. Those four eggs, perfect. Pan. All I want to do is spread out. Now see how that oil is absorbing into that egg? Now I'm going to go ahead and start training it, getting it ready. For the big flip? For the big release. Okay, so we're going to take some fresh basil. It's crunch time. Mm. We're going to take our sausage and pepperonis. Oh, which are now crispy and beautiful. Can you throw some of this on there too? We're gonna have our sausage, yes. Look at that, look at that, so look pretty. at that, look at that. All right, now we gotta come back, Mr. Some Farmer. Cheese. Oh, some oh. cheese. Yeah. You can't have too much cheese on your omelet. Mm. Now we want that outside to be brown and we're ready to flip it, Mrs. Farmer. We want it to be nice and brown and beautiful. Now since this is our Italian deal, I'm gonna put some marinara sauce on that. I'm gonna put some olives. If you don't like olives, don't put olives on it. I love there. olives. You're gonna love this, Ms. This is probably, I know, it's looking pretty. I know what you like now. Come back with, more are cheese. you kidding me? More cheese. Yeah, you gotta have more cheese. So there, Mrs. Farmer. Now you see, I like the surface of my egg. I like it brown. If you don't want it to go as long, you can pull it out of there, but to me, I don't know if it gets anywhere that, Ms. Farmer. I don't know if maybe that's the perfect omelet or not. It's too pretty to eat. But I'll let you go ahead and eat. All right. Because I know you like it. I'm gonna take a little bite in the front with some of this stuff. Pepperonis and all the good stuff in there. Mm. <laughs> no, why not? Wow. Why not? You think, okay. You want That's some good. Italian? And again, this, this meets all the low carb deals. I'm gonna get two pepperoni. We're being really good, aren't we? Good mushrooms. Mm. Oh, yum. Mm. Want some potato? And I have designated that as a finger food. Oh, wow. Oh, yum. <laughs> you like your potatoes, don't you? Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. You got a crunch? I need a bunch of those. Mm. Mm. That's delish. You want some muffin? You know what, Ms. Farmer? That should be in like the cover of a magazine. You think? <laughs> this right here, I know this can be good. See if you can get the cho taste of chocolate. Oh. Mm. That's a well-balanced breakfast. Mm -hmm. That is well-balanced. Mm. Wow. All right, that's delicious. Mm. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, that's so good. It is delicious.
But you know what? We got some things going on outside. We do. We're gonna take you out on the farm, see what's going on. We got some new lambs. Lots of babies. They are cute as they They're can be. They're adorable. We got lambs. We have a puppy. That's right. Best press. I love our puppy. Got all kinds of stuff to see. Let's finish this up. And then we'll take a little cruise around the farm because it's time. Yes. So we made the perfect omelet. What else is there left in life to do? I don't know. You did a good job. Really good you job. You know, that may not be a secret to a lot of folks. I don't know. But that, again, I was making pad thai. Right. And I wanted to figure out a way so that I could cut some nice little slices of egg out. And guess what? You did good. Yum. I'm impressed. Yum, I'm Papa. Impressed. Here, been out. Got some, got some red bud. You, people, you can't believe how these little things taste. First of all, you get sweet. Mm -hmm. Then you get a nutty flavor. I love them right off the tree like this. They're delicious. Those are good. First of all, sweet. Mm -hmm. More. Time to make some jelly. Then the nutty. Mm. That's good. So let's make jelly. Mm. 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 It's really good. Mm. Yum, Papa. So there's your fiber and some more vitamins and minerals. Right. Now we like to go out every now and then and visit with the farm animals. Mm -hmm. Guess what? We have new babies. We How do. many babies do we have? We have got six now. All right, Mona, who's our youngest, mm -hmm had a baby. She kind of surprised us. Yes, she did. And it's a big baby for her because she's yes. a small lamb. Now she's still put up right? because it's her first lamb and you want to make sure that they get comfortable with each right. other. So we got other babies bouncing around, hopping around. Everybody's having fun. They are. They're cute. And we got a new puppy. We do. I love Which, that puppy. Should we go get the puppy? Should we start with the puppy? Should we show the puppy? Let's show a little video of Sola, mm -hmm. our new baby, who will be going to our new baby our grandson. Valen's puppy. And grow up with him. Mm -hmm. Isn't that perfect That timing? is perfect. Because I wouldn't get rid of that puppy if it wasn't going to him. Oh, I know. So we so can still see a, the puppy. Here's a little bit of video of Solo. So we're having fun on the farm. We are. We're getting kind of cleaned up from winter. You know, it's such a mess. Yeah, it is. Everything has fallen from the old trees and we got to clean everything up. We're getting that done. And when we get it all pretty, what can we do more of? Cooking outside. It's a vacation. <laughs> well, hey, now wait a minute, we just went on vacation. Okay, we got, that's true. We that's got true. some work to do. That's true. So that being said, Mrs. Farmer, can you believe a half hour has passed us by? I cannot. We had babies, we had omelets, we had all kinds of stuff. We did. If you like, our recipes, and we hope you do. There's one way I know that you can check them all out. What is that, Mrs. Farmer? You go to timfarmerscountrykitchen.com. And if you want to come to our Facebook page, that's very difficult. It is. What do you have to do to get on our Facebook page? You hit page? like for that. That's very tough. difficult. That's we have one rule on our Facebook page mm -hmm. and on Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. Be kind. If you come to our page, there are people posting recipes. Right. Be kind to those people. Some of them just starting out. Mm -hmm. We are kind on our pages. That's right. So, Mrs. Farmer, that being said, it's all about good times, good friends, and good eats. We'll see you next week at Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. To order a cookbook, email timfarmerck at gmail.com.